Okay, so this is the pan and tilt head. It's a little bit out of shape right now because I've had it, as I said, I've had it thrown down in the corner for a while. But um, I'm going to show you basically how it works. These are two brackets that I bought at Home Depot. And what I did was I used, I used bolts. I used mostly quarter inch bolts, nuts and bolts. Um, I used bolts to bolt, it, um, bolt them together like here. I used half inch uh, aluminum tubing. I use the spacers. I just cut them to the length I want. And so I can bolt these two brackets together. And this is the part that goes on to the, 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 the head of the jib. And then here I have another wheel similar to the one that I use for up and down on the control handle. And um, I use this rubber as a, just as a spacer because then I have a bolt going through here and I need something to, you know, just to keep it from slipping. Well, I use this sort of like a big washer. So what I do, I have the wheel on top, which has, these wheels have a bearing, by the way. And uh, so I use this just to, to keep it firmly rested on, on the L brackets right here. The wheel does the job on the top and this one does the job on the bottom. And underneath I stuck a bearing here, which uh, I didn't quite finish uh, fine tuning yet, but I have a bearing under here and then I have another plastic wheel right here and then the bolt goes all the way through from here to here so I use the same cable as I showed you the housing and I bought the wire separately so what happens is that the cable the cable wire comes around wraps around the wheel once and then I bolt it onto here to one side this is what would pull it to the left when that is pulled the head turns to the left and then I do the same thing for the other side just the opposite way and that pulls it to the right and then for the up and down movement, I have another plastic wheel right here. Same deal. I just bolt this one through here, but I actually use a bigger nut and bolt, which does make a big difference. But um, and what I do is I run the cables. The cables are run like hovering a loop, as you can see right here. I'm showing you now with a pan and tilt. This is a whole of footage that I had from some time ago. And um what this does is it goes through here I drill holes through here so the cable can go and I use the same these same little things let me let you get a closer look at what these are I use the same little things right here and the wire goes through here and what I do is the wire goes around here and it's bolted onto here I just kinda push it through here and tighten the nut and bolt and then I do the same thing on the opposite side and then that gives you the up and down movement as the cable pulls. Now one thing to bear in mind it's not very smooth okay it looks smooth when you know you're looking at the actual camera moving everything but when you see the footage which as you can see right here and this is an older footage I shot in my living room not something intended for the public to see but this is all I have now so as you can see the the pan and tilt is not very smooth as we'd actually like it. I mean, it works if you're doing something that you're just going to reposition your camera every now and then, and you know. But for actually tracking a subject, it's not the best. But I'm working on it, and I intend to get it right. 